Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to Skyrim, where I hope I have resolved the audio stuttering issue. Apparently, Skyrim doesn't like it when you go above 60 FPS, so I've adjust adjusted rather my V-Sync settings and that should help with that. Also have changed to 90 FOV, so anyone who is experiencing discomfort from simulation sickness, hopefully that will help with that. And we are about to complete some quests and sell a bunch Show of stuff. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Uh, you don't have to worry, Can sir. We are done. From Somerset Isle, do we, Lucan? No. The well, sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Well, good news for you, then. <laughs> you found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? A lot of guys I'm say that. Put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Well, I haven't done a great thing for your sister yet. Wink, wink. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Well, one of us, that description fits. I don't know about the other, but I think I want to sell you some things. My sister Camilla. All right. Thank you very much for your patronage, sir. We also got a level up from speech increasing on that. So that is a heal in our bank for when the next time we need that in combat. I uh, suppose we should probably go back to Whiterun and report to that uppity mage. Oh, looks like he's got a guest. You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. Oh, I, I forgot she was here at this point. Answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. We now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I wouldn't Your be too eager to see a dragon up close, Mr. Farangar. Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. Though I can guarantee that coming face to face with a dragon would be enlightening for you. Bad puns are my business. So, what next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Are you calling my us stupid? My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Thank you. Just send me a copy when Farangar. you've deciphered it. Yep. Farangar, you need to come at once. A Did she just nearby. fade into view to from being invisible? Dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. Yeah. The dragon decides to attack Whiterun. I don't know if we can stop it. And I guarantee you won't be Let's finding go. it to be so fun when you are blazing on fire from Dragon's Breath. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. 
We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irlet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. I didn't actually I fight the dragon. The service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Okay, I mean, I appreciate the piece of armor, but... I need you here as your reward, you will be allowed to give me gold. It is not much of a reward, Mr. Jarl. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Don't listen to her. She's lying. She's the least cautious person in this room right now. And that's saying a lot since I'm here. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. All right. I guess we're going to run on ahead. Well, it looks like we've beaten everyone here. The Jarl's men must be really slow pokes. I suppose we'll wait for them. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it's yeah. bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. I don't think dragons skulk. I, I don't think that's a thing that dragons are capable of doing. They're rather large, if you weren't aware. And I guarantee that it will be back shortly. So brace yourselves, friends. And we will brace ourselves with a quick save. Oh. Inanimate objects always getting in my way. Where are you going, dude? It's still here somewhere. Ah. Well, we are going to seek high ground. And there it is. Let's see if we can get a sneak attack on this dragon. Nope, missed. Uh, run. Oh. Woo. That was, uh, a bit toasty. Are we still on fire? All right, where'd you go? There you go. We will be raining arrows from a distance. That is more what we are into. Um, I hate to tell you this, but no one understands a word you're saying. Nobody speaks dragon anymore. Glad these guards are here to tank for me. Lizzie is not much of a, uh, in-your-face fighter, especially when it comes to dragons, I don't think. Well, that dragon is definitely bloodied. You're kind of wasting your breath, dude. I tried to tell you nobody really understands Draconic. Interesting that his name is really close to the name of Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. I think we're hitting it. 
Well, yeah, archery's increasing, so that's good. Oh, this is taking much longer than I anticipated, but at least we're not in danger of dying. Yes? Yes. Come on. Is no one else fighting it? Seems our arrows are the only thing doing damage at the po at this point. Which is, you know, fine. I mean, I think we've got it down to the point it can no longer fly away. And... Did that thing just say my name? Dovahkiin. I'll be honest. Uh, as many times as I fought this first battle, I had never noticed that the dragon says Dovahkiin when it dies. Guess you learn something new every day. Let's zoom out a little bit for full effect. Yes. Yes. The power. The power. Oh. Yes, we will we will do that. Sorry, Miramulnir. There can be only one. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. I mean, just look at me. What did you expect? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. No, I ate its soul. And it was delicious. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. You sure are talky, aren't you? But we will humor you. See, favorite. That's right. We will put unrelenting force on seven. We've got hissed skin on eight. Grandfather used to tell stories. Of the power of old. The voice of the Those dragonborn. Of the dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. That's because he was much less awesome than we are. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <clears throat> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. Somehow I but doubt that. To trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. I really am. I mean, honestly. Honestly. Look at me. You can see the resemblance. Though I am a bit torn about killing my father here. Anyway. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. And I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this Dragonborn business. But I'm sure glad you're with us. Right. I think you guys are, uh, going the wrong direction. Ooh. Lots of stuff. Heavy stuff, but, you know, stuff nonetheless. Might as well just take all of this. We can sell it immediately. Already been told you're not allowed here. 
Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for you. I don't care what you do. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. The heavens has shouted my name, sirs. We will pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay, why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. All right, I will. She cannot hide from us forever. Yeah, um... You don't seem very competent to me, so I imagine she can hide from you forever. Alright, I took the time to unload all of our extra loot, including the dragon bones and things. Worry not, though, we will be fighting plenty enough dragons to accumulate those over the course of this playthrough. Uh, we just really need to get to 5,000 gold now so that we can buy ourselves a house. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So oh, your brothers. Was the dragon there? W was is the operable word. Uh, no longer there. The watchtower was destroyed, though. Uh, we're not going to be too braggadocious. Nah, forget it. We are going to be braggadocious. I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Run. But there must be more to it than that. Did something strange happen when the dragon died? I mean, I ate its soul, but I don't know that that's strange. Uh, I do that every day, all the time. It's a natural thing for me. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. <laughs> Who are these Greybeards you speak of? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Sounds rather ostentatious to me. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Yes. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. Well, they're this going to have a heck of a sore throat after shouting that loudly. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this... What? Dragonborn? Well, I mean, I can shout at you. Would you like that? You puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Krongar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant yeah, he's an idiot. Everybody knows that. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. They probably want to pay what obeisance to me and swear fealty. It revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me now. Very peaceful, <sighs> very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. That's because there was nothing worth caring about. Then I came along. To High Hrothgar, learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. 
It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Sweet. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. We got another level up, I think. Notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Uh, no, we certainly not. To have you as thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. You are indeed. We still have a city to defend. Where is this yes, companion you spoke of? There she is. Well, since we are going to be climbing the 7,000 steps, we are going to need a Stairmaster along. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Yes, it is. And I dub you Stairmaster. You will accompany me on my journey. Lead the way. I will. Oh, speaking of which, uh, you are going to be a meat shield, which means you're going to be taking all the hits. I hope you don't have a problem with that. As such, I'm right behind you. We are going to equip you appropriately. How can I serve you, my Thane? Well, you can serve me by getting rid of this hunting bow, so you won't be tempted to use that. And then we will give you this nice axe that was just given to us. There you go. That should equip you very nicely. Lead on. Look at you. Just the perfect image of a meat shield. Thank you for coming on this journey, Stairmaster. Uh, we have enough money we could buy a horse. However, I don't really want to waste a thousand gold on a horse when we plan on completing the Dark Brotherhood series of quests eventually, and that is a much better horse at no cost to us. We do, however, want to take this cart. Are you the cart driver? Need a ride? Yes. I can take you to the hold capital. I may be wrong, but I think where do you want to go? That Windhelm is actually closer to where we want to go. Climb and back and we'll be off. And not only that, that will help us discover it to add to our quick travel map. And hopefully save us some time. All right. Well, we don't really need to discover the city proper. The stables will do for now. We've got our quest marked, and so we shall set out. And I guess we'll leave the shout marked for now. We can switch back to hissed skin if we need to heal along the way. I hope you're ready for an adventure, Lydia. Because an adventure is what we have waiting for us. And we definitely want to take the time out to discover places that are fairly close along the way. will help in our fast traveling later on. So, let's run up here. Kynes Grove. That will be super helpful for us a bit later. Though I don't know how far we're actually going to press on the story missions before we start just doing side things around and about Skyrim. Ooh, 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 a giant. Let's quick save and see how well we can do with our new meat shield. Haha! -ha! Two times damage was not actually too awfully much damage, to be honest. Oh, I need her to please get aggro. Otherwise, we're going to get squished. Ah, it looks like she has. Hopefully he doesn't take her to a knee too quickly, but he did. That was really fast. But maybe he can't get up here. Doesn't seem to be coming at us. Let's lead. 
There we go. Uh, rounding around the rocks. At least he's not a troll, so we don't have to deal with regen. And we want to definitely keep our distance. Can't take too many hits from this guy. Lydia should be back up and around soon. There she is. Hopefully she can grab aggro again for us. Oh, we missed on that one. And she got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. He sent her flying. Run away. And we shall kite him until he is dead. Yeah. Gotta lead those giants. Uh, he wasn't moving quick enough. Oh. Come on now. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Lydia, uh, we're not ready for this. Thought I could hide it until it was dead, but uh, that didn't work out. We'll just leave this giant in peace. Thank you very much. And thank the gods for quick saves. Maybe we can get a sneak level up, though, sneaking. Ah, there we go. Sneaking this close to an enemy. I heard a wolf. Somebody detected us. Get our bow out. Ah, there it is. And there it isn't. Want to hold on to wolf pelts. May need those when we start our smithing. Will be easier to hold on to all these things we want to keep once we have enough gold to actually buy ourselves a residence. There's a fox. I guess I shot over top of it. Didn't mean to. Oh well, we'll let it live. It's not aggroing on us. Ooh, a mammoth graveyard over there. We're close to a cave, it looks like. So we probably want to discover that. We'll go ahead and stop sneaking for now. I hear a dragon. Night sky is so beautiful. And there it is. Uh, I don't think we're ready to be taking on dragons quite yet, though. So we will not be going in that direction. We'll just let him do whatever he's doing up there. Ah, here's the cave. Uh, looks like a spider cave. We're also not really interested in that yet. Looks like we've got an evil temple on our map there. At least that looked like Cthulhu. Don't think he's part of the Skyrim lore, though. Still, we'll try to discover it, not get aggroed by giants in the meantime. Wait. Oh, is it the giant camp? Uh, yeah. We'll be on our way. You don't have to worry about us. Not that important that we discover that Cthulhu symbol. You picked the wrong lizard to mess with, Wolf. Thank you. We'll take your hide and our arrow back. And I think we're almost to the path that heads up to where we need to go. I think this is it right here. So we're making decent time. Oh, what? Come to avenge your brother, eh? Well, revenge is a dish best served cold. Another saying about revenge is uh, when you set when you set out for revenge, 
you should probably dig two graves. One for you and one for them. Um, I think we're getting close. Oh, looks like some guys are fighting a saber cat. Ooh, and a prisoner. Well, don't mind if I do. Aerial business. Be on your way. Uh, yeah. Are you? You are. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. <laughs> ah, he detected me and walked away. Nice. Why? What is the rift? We're going to free this Stormcloak prisoner. Come on, Lydia, you can join in anytime. Yeah, except if we let you surrender, then we're very likely to be attacked again. Oh, there's another... Can't talk to him yet, we've still got... Where's the enemy? That's on our radar, it disappeared. Well, I guess we'll loot this while we wait. For everything to calm down. Uh, sure, I will take that. Seems like a good deal to me. We'll take those and that. And I'm always in the market for arrows, and that's a great value as well. Are we bugged? Looks like Lydia is aggroed on something. I don't know what, though. Now the enemy is back on our radar again. Well, no matter. It will happen when it happens. What are you aggroed on, Lydia? Oh! What? I just went to all that trouble to free him. And you fucking went and killed him. Why did you aggro on the prisoner? I have no idea. I do want this goat hide, though. Bad, Lydia. Bad. We don't kill Stormcloak prisoners. Ugh. Before all that mess happened, what I was going to say is, I think that there is a troll den here somewhere close. I seem to be remembering getting attacked by a troll on this journey in the past. Maybe that's a random thing, though. Ninrood over there. Not really looking to get into the whole alchemical thing. Going with a strictly stealth and combat build, I think, this time through. Are you following? Yes, you are. Thank you for having your axe out. Is, it... Is this a path? Maybe? Where are you leading us, Foxy Brown? Oh! Is that the troll? Are we above it? I believe we have inadvertently skirted around the troll. Do we want to aggro the troll, though? That is the question. It's definitely on our radar now. I just don't know if we're prepared to face a troll either. Those things regenerate very rapidly. Uh, there he is. I guess whether we want to or not, we are going to fight him. So we better stop crouching. Hopefully Lydia will get in there and tank for us. And hopefully we can take him down before she goes to a knee. Uh, no, we can't. Let's... Oh, he hits hard. Uh, let's shout him down. There we go. Stunned him a little bit, at least. Leveling up our one-handed as well. Is our hissed skin? It has. Cool. We're going to trigger that then. And it's not enough. 
trolls are tough. Probably should have popped some potions. And I didn't really save super close to it, but maybe we can skirt around over here and get a sneak attack on this trolly troll. That sound you're hearing is that Ninroot. They make a noise when you are close by. Helps you to find them. Useful in a lot of alchemical things, from what I remember. How far up through here was he? Let's go ahead and save. I definitely want to kill him if I can. At least for the skill ups. He was over there somewhere? Don't see him yet. There he is. How close can we get without him noticing us? And where is Lydia? Perhaps we should wait for a second and see if she catches up to us. Nope, she seems to have bugged out somewhere. And I don't see the troll now. Oh, yes I do. He's kind of in that glow. Without her, I... Oh, there she is. Uh, okay, let's see if we can do this. Well, we got our sneak attack damage. Yeah, we haven't hit another shot, though. And he has regenerated all of the damage that we've done to him. Come on, now. Just hold him a little bit longer. Also need to be careful not to shoot our companion when she goes to a knee, as we can kill her by accident doing that. Maybe we should just kite this guy around until she recovers. Oh, he's stuck on a rock. Well, I know a lot of people don't like to cheese the system, but when you're fighting big bads, you take every advantage you can get. And there, Lydia's back up. Nice. And down she goes again. All right, let's sort it. Uh, get our hiss skin up. We're gonna go ahead and hit that. Or maybe we have to wait till the shout cooldown goes. Probably applies to our racial ability too. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to kill this thing. So probably in our best interest, just to turn tail and run. Oop. Well, for some reason, our NVIDIA thing has got alt. Alt F1 to screenshot. Why did this come up? Oh, I must have hit the Windows key. Well, I will be locking that, and we will not be trying to fight this troll. Yeah. All right. F that. We're just going to move on. Really want to kill it, but... Caution is the better part of valor, it seems, especially when you accidentally hit the Windows key and are not able to run away. Won't be happening from, from now on. I've locked that on my keyboard. I think we're almost there. Yep, Iverstead. Wait, what are you? Why are you? Uh, oh. That is you. you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Right. I'll say you in your defense. We have a bounty. Uh, you caught me. I'll pay. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Don't want to spend time in jail. That makes our skier skills deteriorate. That makes our skills deteriorate. So. 40 gold is not a bad price to pay. Oh, are we in Riften? I'm glad we discovered uh, Iverstad then. And this also let us discover Riften, so... Have we discovered it? It hasn't lit 
lit up white. Maybe we need to go outside the city. So we definitely want to take the time to do that before we fast travel. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you follow me, hey, you. I Get had another down in. There we go. Riften Stables, that's nice. Guess that's a little bit of a bonus for getting captured there. Uh, where is Iverstead? There we go. Yes, please. Guess we're, we were a little too close to that town when we killed them, or maybe that was a bug. I don't know. Generally, when you're out in the wilderness, you don't get bounties for things like that. So that was a little strange, but... No matter. Let's pick up this quest right quickly. Seven thousand steps again, Clement. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar. Uh, yeah. A delivery up there myself. What kinds of deliveries do you make up there? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The graybeards hmm. tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, I know how they feel. Uh, and what do they do in return for you? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble Except is, that's what, are what economies are built on? Climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Well, luckily, I have a Stairmaster with me, so we could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Hmm, cool. Uh, anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than right. That, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, there is a big bear over there, and there's a cave with treasure in it. And after our experience with the troll, I'm not at all sure we can handle this, but... You know what? I'm extremely willing to give it a shot, so... Let's... Oh, I forgot I had a level up. I could have used that to heal. What good's it for me to save those if I don't use them? We didn't hit it. I'm a little surprised by that. There we go. And these bears don't regenerate, so that is a bonus. We can do maybe quite a bit of damage before it gets to us. It doesn't actually know where we're at yet. There goes Lydia. Good looking out. Again, we have to be careful not to hit her when she goes down to a knee because that will, that will kill her. Ooh, she is kind of in the way. Oh! And I... Did she just do a roll? I was was under the impression that we were in Skyrim, not Dark Souls. Good job, Lydia. Maybe you are also a bear killer, not just a Stairmaster. Uh, don't mind if I do. Let's clean this cave out, shall we? Ooh, unfortunate hunter. Does he have anything worth taking? Yeah, that's worth taking. Gold's always worth taking. We need all the lock picks we can muster. And a wolf belt. I'll take the wine as well, I suppose. Be careful here. I don't think there's anything else in here. But you never can be too careful. I've got a bad feeling about uh, don't worry, we kill... Oh, there's another bear? Is it alive? Uh, yeah, it's alive. Hopefully not for very long, though. Go get him. Or her. Whichever. Mm, she's getting hit hard here. We're gonna switch to swords. Ah, 
there we go. Again, excellent job, Lydia. You are fulfilling my requirements for a meat shield to perfection. Ooh, goodies. Heavy armor forging. All right, well, we'll take that. Search chest. Okay, lots of good stuff here. Uh, yeah, we'll just take it all. Nice. There's a purse. Why are these bears collecting this stuff? This seems very strange. And where is that light? Oh, there's the opening. I was about to say, where is that light coming from? Anything up here? No. Still a pretty good haul, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use one of these level ups. I think we've got several saved now. And I think it makes you spend them all, but that's fine. Uh, yes, we want to increase stamina for a while. Or maybe we only had the one. We only got one perk. So what do we want to increase? Not really interested in speech or pickpocketing. We may put a point into lockpicking, as I don't think our other skills that we've already put perks into are really high enough. We could go into one-handed, but we're not really running out of stamina in battle, and that's what that perk is, is to reduce stamina usage. So, yeah, let's start up the lockpick tree, shall we? Okay. All right, Lydia, my dear. I think it is time that we get back on track. Yep, nothing back there. Let's begin to tackle these 7,000 steps, shall we? All right. Oh, there's another body out here. Any more dead people just lying around? Apparently not. Well, let's see what you have for us, sir. I mean, you got some stuff. Not terribly great, but okay. We'll take the ring and the mead. And always, always lockpicks. Sometimes you break those things like they're made of glass. Especially at our low lockpicking skill, running up against Master and Adept locks. Alright. The first of the tablets. Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all among us. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Well, that is terrifying. Oh, hello, goat friend. What are you doing? Are you here to provide us with archery practice? Because I am prepared. Ooh, is that a wolf? That is indeed a wolf. Can we get a sneak attack here, please? Well, maybe it wasn't a wolf. Maybe it was a skeever? Because it died awfully quickly. Yeah, it is a skeever. Well, can we get our owl back? No. I guess we'll take a skeever tail to console ourselves with. What the what? Is that where the skeever lives? The goat. I saw the goat was frolicking up the steps. There it is. There it is. Can we get us a goat kill? Yes, we can. Is that other one coming towards us? Yes, it was. Oh. Didn't pull the bow back far enough. Arrow, come back. Well, I admire your tenacity, Lydia. It's not that important that we kill the goat. I was just trying to get archery skills up. 
but your perseverance is commendable. Go tide. We'll leave the rest of that there. No real need to weigh ourselves down with it. I think we've got another tablet up in this corner. Yes, and a pilgrim. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I will keep that in mind. Thank you, sir. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. I am imagining that that did not last for long. Because as we know, humanity is tenacious and forever seeking to conquer everything around it. Can we... Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I was going to ask if we could skip over this little hump, but I'm afraid I'll just go sliding down the mountain. Hello, wolf. <laughs> Goodbye, wolf. Do you have a pelt for us? Even one of our arrows back. How sweet of you. Uh, thank you, Lydia. Glad you could keep up. I hear more wolves. We must be ready to defend ourselves. Oop, it saw me. Or did it? I said detected for a second. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's a dead wolf. Good deal. Sneak attack for the win. No arrow returned this time, though. More's the pity. Oh, another goat. I will take all these chances to increase my skills. And miss. There we go. Love the kill cams. Of course, I guess that was just a crit? Because the goat certainly did not die. I was under the impression that the kill cams like that always actually meant a kill. Can we get him? Yes, we can! Well, he's certainly dead now, yes? Yes. Good deal. Anything here? Ah, we will take the gold. Not the bowl. Thank you. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in the old times. Unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Very sad. I don't hear any wolves howling. So, we shall not be sneaky yet. Hopefully we'll be warned before we get accosted in the future. How are you handling this, Stairmaster? Was I right to recruit you? Yes, you seem very capable. Good to know. Very, very good. Ah, here we go, and another pilgrim sitting there. Uh, doesn't look like she's really dressed for the snow, but then again, neither are we. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Yeah, I've been warned, but um, judging by how we've handled it thus far, no need to warn us. We know what we're in for. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged, dragon against tongue. And it always ends in disaster. People just can't be satisfied with what they have. Always reaching out for more. Trying to conquer and overcome their environment and those around them. And I believe that there is a yeti here. Or a troll. A frost troll. I see him on top of the rock there. 
If we can take him out with Lydia tanking, that would be awesome. Hopefully it won't be like that other troll. Did we not hit? It doesn't seem like we're hitting him. Or her, you know, not to judge. There we go, finally. Sneak attack damage and all. And apparently he still doesn't know where we are because we are not detected. Just continue to get this sneak damage. Forever and ever. I'll take all the skill ups. You saw the arrow coming that time though. Takes a lot to overcome the troll's regeneration. If you're just gonna stand there and let me stick you through a through of air, excuse me, I can't parse English today. Let me stick you full of arrows. I will happily turn you into a pin cushion, cushion my friend. Um, please. Are we not hitting. They're regenerating. There we go. There we go. Oh. Did you see him do a backflip? Very athletic frost troll there. And he was courteous enough to come all the way down so we can get all of this great stuff. Troll fat and arrows. It's what I live for. Emblem 5. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were many-fold. Yup. And at what cost? Now the dragons are returned to wreak vengeance upon mankind. And who do we have to thank for that? but those who wipe them out of its existence to begin with. Our ancestors. Alright. Tablets are getting closer and closer together now. I think we're nearing our end. Emblem 6. With roaring tongues the Sky Children conquer. Founding the first empire with sword and voice whilst dragons withdrew from this world. And by withdrew from the world, I think they mean were killed into extinction. But where then did they reappear from, I wonder? Maybe they really did go to another world. Who's to say? Emblem 7. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jürgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Feels like these emblems aren't telling the whole story. It feels like there's large chunks left out from between each one. Like, what was Red Mountain? What happened there? What was the failing of the voices it was speaking about? I don't know. Emblem 8 Jürgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The seventeen disputants could not shout him down. Jürgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Where we are venturing at this very moment. And there it rises. Majestic silent stone from the ice and cold, battered by the wind, and yet still standing. Is that Jürgen? Perhaps. Emblem 9. For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name, Tiber Septum. Stripling then was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. But now, there is another, and one who shall be greater still. I am Rothgar. Awesome. Emblem 10. The voice is worship. Follow the inner path. 
Speak only in true need. Ooh, what was that? Didn't see what it said I gained up there in the corner. But there were definitely swirly lights around me. Um, yes, we will take a potion. Thank you very much. Go ahead and complete our quest. Supplies. There we go. Good deal. Nice little experience gain then for the future. Hello, Greybeards. I'm home. Ah, hello, so, sir. A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. How does one determine that an age is turning? Um, I am answering your summons. You certainly made it loud enough. We will see if you truly have the gift. You doubt Show me? Us, dragonborn. So have many others to their apparel. Okay. Um, well, uh, Let us taste of your voice. don't blame me if something bad happens to you. I can't be held responsible, okay? Looks like we've got it. All right, now, if, if you guys get hurt, you Stop ask for this, right? Uh, you should get out of the way, Lydia. We'll put away our weapon. All right, here you go. You asked for it. Poof! Uh, thanks. You guys still okay? I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Um, you summoned me? Don't know that I would call you Master, but the rest of this applies. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. And what is my destiny? If you say something about Amway, you and I are going to have issues. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. All right, so you're going to speak to me in riddles. Great. Let's skip all of this formality and get going. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you well, shout, you speak the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Then why can't I understand when the dragons speak? Three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, Force to focus your thumb more sharply. Force balance. Gotcha. Um, Lydia, you're standing on the gobbledygook language down there. You should probably move. Don't, don't stand on the, the... You know what? It's fine. You do you. It's because I am a master. Well, maybe you do. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Personally, I like to... Whoa! Hey, dude! You know, there's a thing called consent. I did not agree to have dragon sex with you. Uh, 
You know what? It's okay. I forgive you. Just don't do it again. You should probably get out of the way there, Lydia. Or you can just stand there, and if I hit you, I guess that's just what happens, right? Well done. Again. Oh, thanks for refreshing my shout. Okay. Next. You learn quickly. Once more. Yeah, but you guys are very unobservant. I, that thing's been gone for several seconds now. I'm going to break all your pottery if we keep this up. I know. You don't have to tell me. You will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Is he going to try to have dragon sex with me too? Maybe he'll ask first though, right? It's kind of like that scene in Cocoon where the alien shares herself with the dude. And see, the reason it's so uncomfortable for me, you know, the whole dragon sex thing, is when I do it with a dragon, they die afterwards. You guys stay alive. That bothers me. What the what is that? Oh, it's just a campfire. Thought it was a flame matronach or something. Okay. Right? More gobbledygook language. Concentrate? I knew I could do it. Okay, be gentle. It's not my first time, but I'm still new at this. You just, you're just gonna walk? Are we not even gonna cuddle? Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Let's get that on our menu. It will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! Whoa! That guy would give the Roadrunner a, a run for his money. I gotcha. Watch this shit. Oh yeah. Who's the man now? You guys sure are talkative. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I know. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I know, you're in awe of me. It happens. So, what is next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. So if he was your founder and built this place or started it, why is he not buried near here? I feel like you're just using me to fetch an heirloom for you. Um... Don't really care about any of this. Sure, why are they in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth 
granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. So in other words, you guys are just big dummies. Why am I learning from you? Oh well. Breath and focus. I think that that will do it for this episode of Skyrim. In the next episode, we will proceed to the tomb of Jurgen Windcaller and hopefully not die to giants and trolls, at least too often. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like below. It really does help tremendously. And hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.